Welcome to Bite Further. Today's video is about what to do when you see iPhone unavailable dry again in one hour or security lockout dry again in one hour message on your iPhone. First, what's the reason why your iPhone says iPhone unavailable or security lockout dry again in one hour? One reason is that you enter the wrong passcode on your iPhone lock screen in a row several times. Maybe you forgot the passcode. Maybe someone else like your daughter, son, or your friends keep entering the password wrong. Finally, you see an alert that iPhone is unavailable for one hour and that iPhone is stuck in security lockout. Sometimes, you might also see iPhone unavailable dry again in 59 minutes, 58 minutes, or lesser. Another reason is the unknown bugs. You get iPhone unavailable for one hour all of a sudden just after updating the software or restoring the device. However, you haven't forgotten the passcode or entered the password incorrectly. It doesn't allow you to enter any code. All you see is an unavailable iPhone with dry again in one hour message. Worry not. To see how to unlock an unavailable iPhone with dry again in one hour message, just keep watching. It doesn't matter if you're using iPhone 6s, 7, 8, X, 11, 12, 13, or newer iPhone models. By the way, if this video successfully helps you fix your iPhone unavailable for one hour or stuck in security lockout, please give this video a like, subscribe Byte Further channel, and share it on other social media platforms to help more people. Now, let's start. Alright, when your iPhone shows iPhone unavailable dry again for one hour or security lockout dry again in one hour, it means that your iPhone is locked for one hour. If you can't remember the passcode, you'll have to unlock the unavailable iPhone and bypass one hour time message by resetting it. Note that this will delete everything on your phone. If you have backups for the content on iCloud or a computer, you can restore data from the backup after the reset. Okay, the first step to unlock iPhone that's unavailable for one hour is to restore it via iTunes or Finder. Here, you'll need a USB cable, a computer with iTunes or Finder installed, and your one hour locked iPhone. First, connect your unavailable iPhone to the computer using a cord. Then, open iTunes if you're using a Windows computer or a Mac computer running Mac OS Mojave 10.14 or older versions. If you own a Mac with Mac OS Catalina 10.15 or later versions, open up the Finder app instead. You might find that your computer and iTunes or Finder can't detect your device. Therefore, you'll need to put the unavailable iPhone into recovery mode first to let iTunes or Finder can contact your phone. Remember to keep your phone connected to the computer. Next, I'll show you how to enter recovery mode on your iPhone when it's saying iPhone unavailable dry again in one hour with some button presses. If you're using an iPhone 6s or 6s Plus, press the side button and home button together and hold them until the recovery mode screen appears. A recovery mode screen will show like this. In iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and side button until you see the recovery mode screen. In iPhone 8, X, XR, 11, 12, 13, or newer versions, quickly press the volume up button, the volume down button, and then press and hold the side button until you enter recovery mode. Now, just follow the steps for your specific iPhone model to get into recovery mode just like this. Then, go to your computer. iTunes or Finder will quickly detect your phone and send you a message asking if you'd like to update or restore your phone. Click the restore button, followed by the update and restore button. Continue following the on-screen steps. Now, as you can see, iTunes or Finder is downloading the latest iOS software. Then, all that's left to do is to wait for the application to extract the firmware and install it into your unavailable iPhone. In your iPhone, the iPhone unavailable dry again one hour message will disappear. Instead, an Apple logo will pop up, with a progress bar underneath it. When the bar reaches the end, your iPhone will boot up and restart to the hello screen. This is what you often see when you buy and set up a new iPhone. Now, start setting up your phone, like Wi-Fi, passcode, touch ID, etc. During the setup, you'll see an apps and data screen. Here, you can restore data from an iCloud backup or computer backup if you have any. If not, just tap don't transfer apps and data and finish the setup process. Now, there is it. You successfully unlock your unavailable iPhone that says dry again in one hour. What if you don't have a computer on your side? Then, you can try to erase the data and unlock your unavailable iPhone using iCloud. There are some requirements needed. 
First, the Find My function has been enabled before your iPhone becomes unavailable. Second, you still remember your Apple ID and password. Third, your iPhone has a stable cellular or Wi-Fi internet connection. If you meet all the needs, now let's do it. On another smartphone or tablet, go to your favorite browser. I'll use the browser on the computer to show you the process. The steps are almost the same on your phone or your tablet. Type in and go to iCloud.com. To sign in, enter your Apple ID and password correctly. Be sure to use the iCloud account you use to log into your unavailable iPhone. If needed, enter the certification code. Once signed in, locate the Find iPhone icon and tap it. On the middle top of the screen, tap All Devices. From the drop-down list, find your iPhone that shows iPhone unavailable or security lockout try again in one hour and click it. Next, choose Erase iPhone and select Erase. Then, iCloud will start erasing all the data and settings on your phone and factory reset it. The process will automatically start as soon as it detects that your device has an internet connection. Just after a while, your iPhone will restart to the Hello screen and iPhone unavailable or security lockout try again in one hour message is no longer displaying. That's all how to fix iPhone unavailable or security lockout try again in one hour. Hope this video helps you unlock the phone successfully so that you regain access to the phone. If it does, please give it a thumbs up and share it via Facebook, Twitter, and so on to help others in need. Also, if you have any further questions, feel free to write them down in the comments below and I'll reply ASAP. To learn more tech tips about iPhones, subscribe to the Byte Further channel. Now, you can click another video on the screen to keep watching.